Hello everyone and welcome to our September 29 video daily technical analysis of the markets for the major currency pairs oil and gold. Now let's start with the dollar franc today because dollar franc as you know we were long from this 96.60 area here and in the beginning of the week we were long and the market really came up to our targets and now as you can see it's in this kind of mid zone here only if it breaks above here we have higher targets so we'll have to keep an eye on it but trading here at this moment is not um, it's not very suitable at all. So we either need to wait for a pullback to buy or a breakout of this resistance to buy or um, to wait for the market to come up higher in order to look for a sell position. So let's just keep dollar franc aside for the moment. As you know, yesterday the Fed um, uh, President Yellen spoke and the European Central Bank President Draghi spoke. So after those speeches, the market is a bit sideways at the moment. Now let's take a look at now let's take a look at the Europe um, Eurozone with the Euro dollar and here we go. Now the Euro dollar, as you can see, we're still in this kind of an up move and yesterday the market dipped down twice when Draghi spoke and then Yellen testified. Um, so this uptrend might actually hold. Um, so we're going to take a look at that today. Let's take a look at this a bit in depth. Now if I do a resistance line from here you'll see that the market broke up and this is like a goodbye kiss here so if this goodbye kiss holds we might see the market running around 1260 let's just do this all right down here 1250 let's say okay so we have a first target of around 1250 here and then we could see the euro dollar back up in this zone here um, in the in the 1290s 30s 113 areas okay so that's another there in between there though i think the level to look out for is the 1275 area 77 in this double top region here simply because um on the weekly 88 is a resistance so this is why i said 1290 um 1270 these are, are going to be targets if the market holds here and starts to go up again okay but i'm a bit bullish today on the euro dollar um having um seen that the market picked up twice yesterday from the bottom of the channel here i'd be more inclined to go long on this currency pair than short today let's take a look at the dollar cad dollar canadian yesterday i said if it breaks down from here you can go short and as you can see it's right at the bottom of the channel right now well it's that is a big fall um, Polos had spoken this week, so all that has kind of made this currency pair kind of crumble down. The dollar CAD is at the bottom here. What to do with that? Well, not to do anything right now. So if you took profit, just stay put. Because um, after the breakdown yesterday, it just like really crashed down, as you can see. So don't do anything with this at the moment. What we might want to do is something surprising. I didn't actually follow this up yesterday. I should have. Oh, it was a good good trade um, what to do with the dollar Canadian you would only be um, continuing to sell this off um, I can't think of anything else to do um, if you go to your one hour chart what you might want to do is pick up a retracement level which should be let's pick up one with a Fibonacci so you might want to start selling off again around there which is 31 30 40 region there okay so if the market kind of picks up there this 30 um 31 30 31 40 area yep yeah, 31 30 and 31 60 area are going to be a good retracement for a sell-off again with this currency pair aussie dollar aussie dollar still looking a bit um looks like it feels like it's going to fall down but what i want to do with the aussie dollar is i don't want to sell it right now as you might recall in the beginning of the week i noted this level here for me that's still holding on the 7750 region here for me is a good spot to sell the aussie dollar so i'm not really that inclined to sell it off right now even though it might look like a shorting position so what i want to do is basically keep this um and sell it only around 77.30, 77.50 and I don't want to be taken back by any kind of a downfall that you see here with the four hour bars. 
Um, so I don't want to take that as a bait. I only want to sell if the market pops its head up to those levels. Um, that's also a strategy. That's also a mentality that I think main traders need to have as well. That you've done your technical analysis, you've determined your levels, and you just need to wait for the market to come there before you go ahead and do anything and rush into the market. So keeping your discipline is a very, very important aspect of trading. Now let's take a look at gold. With gold, as you know, I'm expecting a move back and the market is moving back, thank goodness, because I would really like to buy the gold around the sport line here. And this 1320 level, uh, level area has been broken, so that's really good for me. Um, and I think if you're trading gold as well, just be patient. I think it's going to pull back in order to push up again and a good level to buy is going to be around this spot area okay as you know i'm following gold every day with you guys to make sure that it pulls back before we start going long on this um also let's take a look at oil finally <clears throat> aha finally we have a breakout as you can see opec came to an agreement so everything looks honky dory um, so what we might be seeing is oil starting to move back up, up again. Here we're going to see, let's just move this up a little bit. This is the $50 range as you can see. So what we might want to do with oil is, doesn't sound too bad. What we might want to do is at the top sell and what I think we should do is in mid-range buy so what i can do here is actually draw a fibonacci line here mark the 50 level okay and this area is not going to be bad to buy at all yeah 47.50 around there it's a good price to start going up oops on oil again there we go 57 50 there we go all right, so expecting a bit of a pullback in order to go long again is not a bad idea on oil. All right, um, when you're trading in between the range, like in this situation here where there's a top and a bottom, as you can see, top and a bottom, what you might want to do is trade with smaller lot sizes. I hope that helps for today, and we'll all see you again next time.